that they will be temporarily halting advertising on Twitter unless there's an assurance that Musk's free speech won't lead to hate speech on Twitter. Uh, Musk equally has the reputation of misusing his much followed Twitter account that as much as Musk would love to have that edit button, it's actually not that easy. Hey guys, this is Prashant from TechDudo and we have a special story and this story is about Musk and Twitter. How Twitter will change under the reign of Musk. Having a public platform that is maximally trusted and broadly inclusive is extremely important to the future of civilization. I don't care about the economics at all. Well, after months of unpredictability and suspense, Musk has finally acquired Twitter for a whooping $44 billion and with this massive price tag. The Twitter acquisition is by far the costliest acquisition in the history of the tech industry. But this is actually not the reason why Twitter's acquisition is hogging so much of media limelight and even causing a huge meltdown among the people. The reason why this $44 billion acquisition has become such a talk of the town is because of one man. That man is obviously Elon Musk. Musk may be the world's richest man and might also be the world's first trillionaire. Check out the video right here. We have made a special video on that. But he is also known for his erratic behavior and his highly polarizing views. Well, this unpredictable man is now the sole owner of Twitter, controlling almost 100% stake in the company. He won't be answerable to any board of directors or investors. He can now redefine or transform Twitter the way he wants. And it seems that Musk is in real hurry to bring unprecedented changes in the microblogging company. Barely days after assuming ownership, he decided to fire dozens of employees. In fact, 50% of the workforce, including Twitter CEO Parag Agarwal. In this special story, we will try to decode how Twitter under the regime of Musk is likely to change in the coming days. We will explore both the best as well as the worst case scenarios. Now, let's get started. In Musk's own words, he bought one of the most sought after media platforms for promoting free speech. Well, the Tesla and SpaceX CEO claims that encouraging free speech is immensely critical for sustaining our civilization. But apart from free speech, Musk has bought Twitter for another very important reason. According to the tech billionaire, Twitter is a very poorly managed company and has huge scope for earning humongous profit. If one goes through Twitter's past quarterly results, then Musk's claim doesn't appear to be unreasonable at all. Well, leaving aside one or two financial years, the social media company has a never declared profit. The microblogging company has declared profit only in the financial year 2018 and 2019. It has been a loss-making company for most of its entire existence. And Musk strongly believes that Twitter needs a strong course correction if it ever wants to turn profitable. His first major decision to cut more than 50% jobs at Twitter is certainly a part of that course correction. But the tech billionaire is surely not going to stop only at job cuts. According to reports, he is planning to add several features to Twitter that is likely to completely redefine how we tweet in the future. Well, one such feature happens to be the edit button. Now, as we all know right now, we cannot really edit our own tweets, which is understandably very frustrating. But thankfully, Twitter had announced earlier this year that it is working on this feature and Musk himself is a big supporter of the edit feature. But the thing is that as much as Musk would love to have that edit button, it's actually not that easy. Technically, it's surely not at all difficult. But the real problem is neither Twitter nor Musk has any clear answer how Twitter will show the edited as well as the non-edited version of the tweets to the users. Well, it is important to remember that today, Twitter is used by millions of celebrities and powerful personalities and their every single tweet is watched and tracked by millions of their fans, followers and media houses. And hence, Twitter has a massive responsibility of making such celebrities and powerful personalities accountable to every single tweet including the original version of their edited tweets and for Musk to put that edit button he will have to first fix this big problem now moving ahead to other features that Musk might roll out pretty soon is that the feature allowing to make a long tweets may soon become a reality Previously, the microblogging website allowed only 140 characters per tweet and this was later expanded to the current limit of 280 characters. But if Musk has his way, then you might soon be able to fit even 400 to 500 characters in a single tweet. This means that in future, your tweets will become more expressive and hence you will be able to share more ideas and thoughts to the rest of the world. 
Now another feature that Musk may seriously want to introduce on Twitter is the integration of cryptocurrencies. Well we all know that the world's richest man is a huge supporter of crypto especially in Dogecoin. As a matter of fact in the United States the people are already allowed to purchase Tesla cars with Dogecoin and therefore we have a good reason to believe that Dogecoin might come soon on Twitter. In fact we might even see NFTs coming soon on Twitter. While Musk can bring many more interesting features to make Twitter platform more appealing and interesting, his real challenge though lies on the monetization front. Twitter's monetization is actually a big priority for Musk. And this is the reason why barely after few days of his takeover, Musk announced that Twitter will increase the price of its blue verification mark from $4 to $8. A decision that drew a lot of criticism and huge flake from Twitter's followers. But such criticisms are unlikely to stop Musk from implementing many such tough decisions in the future as he tries to explore more revenue opportunities for his company. Musk's future monetization strategy is likely to solely focus on reducing Twitter's over reliance on advertising revenue which he believes is key in making Twitter a profitable company in the future. And considering Musk's knack for innovation, we can seriously expect some out of the box strategy from Twitter as it seeks to become profitable. But for Musk to become successful on the monetization front, he will equally have to think about increasing Twitter's monthly active users. As compared to other popular social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram, Twitter has a very low monthly active users. As of today, the microblogging platform has approximately 450 million monthly active users compared to Facebook's 3 billion monthly active users and round about a billion Instagram monthly active users. Well clearly Twitter is way behind its counterparts and Musk certainly has a daunting task on his hand. Remember in the beginning of this video I had said that one of the primary reasons for Musk to purchase Twitter was to promote free speech. Now Musk's argument implies that Twitter is essentially an anti-free speech platform and curbs freedom of expression. Now just days before Twitter's takeover Musk announced that he will soon form a content moderation council that will promote diverse views. Now however, apart from the announcement, the tech billionaire has not really given any concrete roadmap about how he plans to go about in implementing free speech on Twitter. The uncertainty about what Musk's definition of free speech implies for the future of Twitter has led to the fear that this will actually lead to more hate speech and toxic content on the platform. Now this fear has now pushed many top brands to flee from Twitter. Reputed companies like Audi, Pfizer, General Motors, Carlsberg and Forbes have said that they will be temporarily halting advertising on Twitter unless there is an assurance that Musk's free speech won't lead to hate speech on Twitter. Now another controversial aspect surrounding Musk's free speech in his recent statement that under his regime Twitter will put an end to the practice of permanently banning the Twitter accounts. Twitter has become kind of the de facto town square. It's really important that people have the both the, uh, the reality and the perception uh, that they are able to speak freely within the bounds of the law. Now this statement has led to the speculation that Musk may revoke the ban on Twitter accounts held by many controversial personalities including the former American President Donald Trump. The revocation of Trump's Twitter account may come as a huge shot in the arm for Trump especially in the run up to the 2024 US elections. Well more so because Trump's recently launched social media platform Truth Social is proving to be a huge disaster. Now let us finally talk about the more controversial aspect. The real and the big challenge of promoting free speech on Twitter comes from Elon Musk himself. Well, Musk, as we all know, is a prolific Twitter user and actually is the second most followed personality on Twitter. However, Musk's tweets have acquired a notoriety for attracting controversies. More often than not, his tweets reeks of intolerance and highly polarizing opinions. And now, Musk even has a track record of bad mouthing top celebrities on Twitter. Now, this includes top tech billionaires like Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos. Now, Musk equally has a reputation of misusing his much followed Twitter account for forwarding and promoting his business interests. In the past, it has been observed that many of Musk's tweets were found to be deliberate attempt to increase the valuation of his investments and stock holdings in companies like Tesla. And and to top it further, the tech billionaire also has a reputation of blocking the accounts of his detractors or anyone who repeatedly doesn't agree to his opinion. All these disturbing facts is causing a huge concern among people whether Musk is really capable of promoting free speech on Twitter as he very much claims.
His unflattering and unimpressive track record clearly suggests that Musk is anything but a free speech messiah. In fact, many believe that he often comes across someone who is autocratic, intolerant and even a narcissist. And today, this man owns one of the most sought after social media platforms in the world. Many may argue, why should we really care about who owns Twitter? I mean, this is just another social media platform, what else? Today, social media platforms like Twitter are known for having a huge cultural impact on the society. So much so that they can even determine the election results in many countries. In other words, in future, Musk might play a huge role in determining who will be the next president or prime minister of your country. This might sound outrightly bizarre, but this is exactly the kind of influence that social media platforms like Twitter exerts on today's society. And this is the reason why we need to care about the future of Twitter. But ultimately, only time will tell us how Twitter will unfold and unravel itself under the Musk regime. Until then, all we can seriously hope is that Musk does not allow Twitter to become a breeding ground for fake news, hate content and of course, a botch, a big problem that he himself has acknowledged. Well, that was it for the story. If you liked it, smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. This is Prashant. See you in the next one.